Son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them, that's the words and the sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them, that's the words and the sayings, in the midst of thine heart. Now I'm going to have to restate this once again. That gives us some wonderful information. That if you don't keep the word of the living God before your eyes, and if you don't make an effort to stay in the word of God, the word can escape your heart. And when it's not in your heart, you are powerless to change situations and circumstances. God's plan for us, blessed be the name of God, is that we live life on this earth like Jesus lived it. And that's with power over and power to dominate situations and circumstances. Remember this in Genesis, the first chapter, verse 26, that it says that we are made in the image and likeness of God. Well, just go over there with me. Genesis, the first chapter. Praise the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Genesis 1, 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. Everybody say dominion. dominion. What's dominion? It's rule. Control. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth. We're to have dominion over all the earth. And over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. God created men to have dominion, to dominate, to rule. Glory be unto God. And He created us to rule and dominate over sickness and disease. Blessed be God. I ought to get more response than that. It's the truth. Verse 21. Let them, the words, excuse me, Proverbs 4, verse 21. Let them... The words and the sayings, not depart from thine eyes. Keep the words and the sayings in the midst of thine heart. For they, the words and the sayings, are life unto those that find them. Everybody say life. life. And health, or as the marginal rendering says, medicine to all their flesh. These words and these sayings of the Almighty God minister health to our flesh, if we get them before our eyes and keep them in the midst of our heart, healing's going to come to our body. That is a biblical fact. It's not just a promise. It is fact. It is done. But you're going to have to pay the price and get into the Word of the living God. So for the previous 50 nights, we've been getting into the Word of God concerning these truths. We looked at John, the 14th chapter, verse 10, that says in the Greek text, the words that I speak, Jesus speaking, the words that I speak, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me speaketh them. And the works that I do, I doeth not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me doeth them. Then we looked at Hebrews, the first chapter, verse 2, that says God, taking God from verse 1, God hath in these last days spoken unto us by His Son. When God wanted to say something, when God wanted to show man how He acted, He did it through Jesus and through His life. All I have to do is look at Jesus when he's walking on the face of the earth and I can find out exactly what God thinks by what Jesus says. I can, think, I can find out exactly how God would act by just watching Jesus because everything Jesus said, he heard the Father say. And everything, glory be unto God, he did, he's heard the Father say, do this. Now here's the wondrous thing John 14 says, the works that I do, Jesus said, Greater works than these will you do. And we found out over there in the Gospel of John that one of the works was healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We found out that healing was healing blind eyes, but healing was going to be a sign of the Messiah. Nobody had ever healed blind eyes until Jesus came along. Those works, those healing works, said, this is the Messiah. And then Jesus went about Brother Brian and said, greater works than these are you going to do. Hallelujah. So we went through, the, we've been going through the Bible. I don't know how many scriptures we've looked at. I would guess somewhere around five to 700, probably. Because we're going to look at 200 scriptures tonight. Some of your eyes, you should have seen. Because uh, when we were just going to have this 30 days, 
I already knew in my heart what we were going to end with. Um, and then when we didn't end after 30 days and pushed it to 51, I pushed it to the 51st. We're going to go through scriptures, by all means, not all of the scriptures that pertain to the subject. But we're going to go through scriptures tonight on the subject of healing. So that people will have a tape, glory to God, if they so desire, to listen to scriptures on the subject of healing. Romans the 10th chapter verse 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith only comes one way. Doesn't come by working yourself up, by sweating, or praying real loudly. Faith comes one way, and that's by hearing the word of God. We looked at Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Looked at seven times in those three Gospels that Jesus made this statement. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Or thy faith hath saved thee. The word there, both whole and saved in Greek, is the word sozo. It not only refers to spiritual salvation, but it refers to temporal salvation and physical healing. So when Jesus was speaking with sick folk, and he said, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. He didn't say, My power has made thee whole. He didn't say, God on the throne hath made thee whole, although we know that that's the reason why healing comes. He didn't say, Because you looked really nice today, made you whole. He said, Thy faith hath made thee whole. With the woman with the issue of blood, when she stretched forth and touched the hem of Jesus' garment, Jesus turned in the crowd for he perceived in his heart, he perceived within himself that virtue had gone out of him. The word virtue, remember back with me, is the same word that's translated many times as power. It's the same word that's translated many times as miracles. It is the word dunamis in Greek. It is where we get the English word dynamite from. Dynamite is all of the necessary ingredients to cause a manifestation. Well, dunamis is all of the necessary ingredients in God to cause a manifestation of God's healing power, God's prospering power, God's peace. But it has to be ignited some way, and it is ignited by our faith. That's when we just look in the Bible, and we find out what God says, and we simply believe it. Glory be unto God. We don't need man to explain it away for us. Or say that the day of miracles is past. It's unfortunate Jesus doesn't know that. Because Hebrews the 13th chapter verse 8 says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Malachi the 13th chapter says, I am the Lord God, I change not. He's the same now as he always was. Excuse me while I preach a little bit. Amen. So we're going to look at faith building scriptures tonight. I am not going to be turning to the passages so you might have a difficult time keeping up, just simply write down the scriptures, or if you'd like, you can turn to them. Glory to God. We're going to start in the New Testament, and we're just simply going to read scriptures, 200, I think 210 scriptures pertaining to healing in the Word of God. I had to just simply stop because the more I meditated, the more scriptures kept coming and I took this time, you know, to do the word processing and all this, and I kept writing on it, writing in new scripture. So I just stopped. Matthew, the fourth chapter. We're going to have our faith developed. Verse 23 says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Matthew 4, 24 says, and his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8 say, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened.